Hello, and welcome to Let's Draw Whooper with Cube. I have no idea if I'm going to make a series out of this or not, but I just thought I'd try it because apparently a lot of people like my Pokemon drawings, and I like to draw Pokemon, especially Whooper. So, what better one to start out with? So I guess this will be a mixture of a general tutorial, and a tutorial specifically on my favorite Pokemon, Whooper. So here I am just going to start with my usual sketched canvas that I have set as a preset, which is 11 by 11 600 dpi. And it's important to have some good reference material, which is very, very important. Look at these whoopers. Look, look, look at this whoop. Look at this is a quality whoop. One of my favorite whoops, I would say. This is a classic whoop. Pretty good whoop. I like this whoop. This whoop, underwhelming. So, this is of course the most basic whoop, along with this one. And it's important to note that this is the male whooper in this case, because the female whooper is dimorphic. So, the most important thing when drawing any Pokémon is to think about the forms that make it, and what makes whoopers so great is that they're very simple forms. You got this squish ball, I believe is the scientific name for this form, right? And then you got, like, this sack thing, which is its own form. And then you got some little squishy feets. I, 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 lima beans, and then you got a, whatever this form is, like a, a beaver tail zone kind of situation, and then you got a Wi-Fi signal that is on the, the body so that he can get the best receptions, and then you got sticky sticks. It's like really long cones, I guess, but very thin. And then you just got more sticky sticks sticking out of those sticks. And before you know it, you're drawing a whoop. Look at this guy. And then you might be like, oh, what kind of face can be drawn in a whoop? And the good thing about a whoop is that they have very squeesh faces that are very, like, what do you call it? They're very forgiving. Because you could do this kind of whoop, he's very surprised. You can go crazy with the big long mouth and be like, happy whoop. You can be like, mm, I'm an I'm a angry whoop. They're very flexible. <laughs> I mean, like a surprise whoop. You're like, hi. And it's really just that simple. That's why I love whooper. So I think I will sketch a few more, and then I will do the inking and coloring on one of them to go to that part of it. So, the good thing about understanding the forms is that once you know that, you can pretty much draw them from any angle. So like, if you want to draw the whoop from behind, if you understand where everything's placed, it becomes very easy. And then it's like, you get your sack, you get your flopper tail, you get your beanie feet, and then you got a behind whooper. And maybe you got a whooper that's like... He's extra surprised, so he's a little squished horizontally. Or he's like, uh? What am I gonna do? I'm just a whoop. This is <laughs> more shorthand. the girl has three or two on her belly. I always like to do the surprised face. It's just, it's so pure. You can't, you can't make the branches too thick or they start to look kind of weird. Even though that makes it look a little more like an actual axolotl. So maybe he's He's looking this way, but now he's turning around because he saw you and, and he's surprised. So you'd see a little bit of this side. And like a little foot over here. But he's like, whoa, whoa. A whoop. There's some simple whoops. So this is my favorite whoop. I think I got the shape best here. So I am going to do the inking on this one. By the way, I'm just sketching with a pencil, the pencil tool with the opacity set to pen pressure. That's what I normally use for sketching. So if I 
turn the opacity of my sketch layer down, start a new layer for inks. I like doing it that way partly because um, then I can assure that I'm not accidentally inking on the same layer as my sketch. I'm going to pull a preview panel over to the other side. And the brush that I like to use for inking pretty much everything nowadays is Kyle Ultimate Rough Inking 2 from a Kyle T brush set. He makes a lot of really great Photoshop brushes. And I'm drawing with a Wacom Intuos Pro tablet. Someday I'll get a Cintiq. Maybe. Probably. Maybe not. But I promise I'm not drawing with the mouse. Again, you don't want to make these too thick, or they aren't as good. This part might be a little boring. Oh well. Then erase. Erase. Probably should have picked one more, or more than one music track to loop in the background. This is from Pokemon Snap, by the way. Very important game to me. It's the River Song, which is very appropriate for Whoop, even though obviously Pokemon Snap was just the first generation. And Whooper is second gen. Now this is the hardest part, because you're trying to get like a good shape with the with the swoops. And something I do a lot when I'm inking is to create a selection and then hide it, so that way I can draw without overlapping at all. But you have to make your tolerance make sure that your tolerances are set right. Or else you'll end up with fuzzies. You don't want them fuzzies. See? I told you I was gonna have some trouble with this. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna rotate it. I can do this line. Do lines all the time. And it helps to draw the whole shape even if you're gonna erase part of it like this just to make sure it's contiguous. Obviously that's some pretty basic level stuff, but... Meh. Maybe this is a kids! I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just drawing Whooper. I think I just wanted an excuse to draw Whooper. You got a big old beaver tail. Boom. When I'm doodling like this, I like to leave the sketches a little more vague and let myself figure out the specifics in the ink phase, because then it has a little more flow to it. Feels a little more natural. A lot of my comic works that ends up a little too stiff because my sketches are too tight. This should actually be a little more. Yeah. And then I'm going to do that thing where I make a selection again so that I can draw this antler behind him without worrying about the overlap. Good enough. Erase, erase. Because I have that other preview window off to the side, I don't have to constantly zoom in and out to make sure that this looks right, which I would absolutely be doing otherwise. If you're not familiar with that function in Photoshop, it's a uh, window arrange, new window for whatever your file's titled. Right now it's untitled one. It's very important, but I mean, obviously I can do that because I have a second monitor, which is my laptop. I find it very hard to draw without a second monitor at the moment. So then if I hide the sketch layer, I can go on and make my flats. So whooper, you got your light blue. And I have an action that's set to expand and fill by one pixel, so that I don't have to worry about the fuzzies or the exact tolerance that I'm set at. This is either a dark blue or like a purplish blue, depending on the context. Look, this ink went out a little bit. <laughs> and then you got his fleshy mouth. And then you got his light purple antlers. Oh, he's so surprised. And now for the shades layer, I am making a clipping mask, which I do for sketches, but not comic stuff, just because it saves some time. And you just pick a color. Then I will shade with the pencil tool with the opacity setting thing off. So that's just a basic pencil tool. 
but it's multiply layer, so it's creating a shadow. As for how I choose shadow shapes, it's all off the cuff and BS. It there's no real logic to it. I mean, it's based on still life studies and stuff, but in the end, it's just what looks good. You just gotta go with what feels right in your heart. And what my heart is full of is Whooper. In general, anything that makes the form read more clearly, I will choose over realistic lighting. So here, it makes it a little more obvious that there's the shadow from his head, and that he's turning around a bit. Maybe. Who knows. And then you got me. So again, as long as it feels like it's making the form obvious, I don't even care that the light source is coming from the wrong direction on those. There's nothing you can do to stop me. A little whoop. And then, because he's a slimy boy, I'm gonna do a highlight later. Just set that to screen. Give him a little, little dollop of highlight. And then you guys have a whoop. And that's it. So there's me drawing Whooper. I did it. Because I wanted to, and no one could stop me. So if you found this interesting, let me know. Maybe I'll do some more. Draw some more Pokemon. But otherwise, I will see ya. Bye.